The Memphis Belle is an American icon. It is a symbol that has the same cultural significance as the flag that was raised on Mount Suribachi or the Arizona battleship at Pearl Harbor. It symbolizes and embodies sacrifice and what Americans will do to protect their freedom. It's a piece of history that will never be forgotten and it led the way to where we are today with the Air Force. Well, I'm, I'm happy that they're restoring it because they'll never have another Memphis Bell. And uh, I don't think you'll ever see it fly again either. It, it's a treasure. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the Memphis Bell. Today, on the 17th of May, 75 years to the day that the crew finished their 25th mission, we have this grand opening to the public. Just as the Memphis Bell is the representative of the heavy bomber crews and that strategic bombing campaign, that's exactly how we've, we've made our exhibit. The Bell is the centerpiece that tells a larger story, that of strategic bombing in Europe. Dad would be so proud. I promised him when he was dying 14 years ago that I would do anything I could for the Memphis Bell Memorial Association and to keep the plane alive. He knew before he passed that the plane was gonna to come to the museum and he knew it would be preserved here. He knew it would be restored here. He was extremely glad that it was going to be. This aircraft has been at the museum since 2005 in our restoration hangars. It came up from Memphis in need of a full restoration and our restoration craftsmen and volunteers have gone from the nose of the airplane to the tail of the airplane, gone over every surface, every piece of equipment. It was completely disassembled. All of the internal paint was stripped. Uh, there were some corrosion issues in some areas. All those were dealt with. And then the aircraft was reassembled and then very carefully painted and marked to look and be configured as it was shortly after the crew finished their 25th mission on May 17, 1943. It's just awesome. They did a great job. It's been years in the making. They took their time. I think all the guys would be very proud. For me, it's been very moving. I mean, I heard about it my whole life. I never got a chance to see it in Memphis. So seeing it here and, and how well they put it back together really touched me. And, you know, I, I kind of envisioned my father coming out to it the first time in a runway at Bassingbourne and saying, oh, this is what I'm going to be flying in. Today was particularly special. We had these flying B-17s that came in here, uh, you know, EA's aluminum overcast. So we had the Yankee Lady, and then we also had the movie Memphis Bell. And that just really enhances the event when we have the flying aircraft. And, and the great thing is the Memphis Bell we, will be preserved. It will not fly again. Uh, and yet during this event, we have these three B-17s flying over to inspire the crowd. To see the reaction, the thousands of people that have come out, the, the marvel on their faces as they read about what these amazing young men did do. So this brings the memory of the Memphis Bell alive. It also brings the memory of strategic bombing and the heavy bomber crews alive too. And you know, it's a real tragedy that these young men would serve and with more than 30,000 of them dying in combat, that their memory would fade away. So we hope that with this exhibit, with this restoration, we will keep their memory alive into eternity. Mm -hmm.